not make dirty jokes. Okay, Just if saying. you've listened to anything I do, you know that that's <laughs> not going to be a problem. Oh, wow. And right off the bat, major lag spike. What the hell is going wow. on with this shit lately? Uh, all right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Riding with Zorts. Uh, Rubber I'm, banding with Zorts. I'm, what? <laughs> Rubber. And my guest tonight, uh, some of you may know her. Illy, as I know her, I, 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 your, your your character's full name is just like a tongue twister. Illyria. Illyria, uh, uh, aka <laughs> if you, if you listen to the namesake radios, she's a she's one of them folks. DJ Chaos. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, we're we're taking a ride. Uh, I'm the here. one that pushes the button that starts the apocalypse. Cause Woo! it was a button. Shiny red button. They told me not to push it. See, that's why when I'm an evil genius, there will be no shiny red buttons on my master Damn controls. Damn it! But, but, you've well, read Peter's Evil Overlord list, haven't you? Um, I, I believe so. I believe I reposted that on the uh, Wormcast Tumblr. <laughs> and I agree with quite a bit of it. I agree with all of it. Yeah, it's, Especially it's... the having the five-year-old child as yes, an advisor. Yes, yes, that is the one, yes. Uh, so, um... We're, we're uh, cruising here through uh, the old Stranglethorn. Well, not the old Stranglethorn, because the old Stranglethorn was one big zone. This is yes. split up. So I'm, I'm actually kind of curious to see how I'm going to get past that uh, whirlpool up ahead. Magic. There's a path if you go up and to the right. Yeah, I think I think that's a lot of, like, bike jumping. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm. It's could be just wrong. a path. There we go. We're going to find out. Yeah, see, go to the right. And so, uh, see that that path up there? Yep. To the hey, right? How long have you been? Uh, how, oh, oh, Basilisk, Basilisk. Um, how long have you been playing WoW? I have been playing WoW since oh. the beginning, uh, off and on, and getting stuck in, you know, scenery is <laughs> no new thing. Um, I often do it to my, do it myself. It's it's very fun, relaxing. Oh, um, no. <laughs> but yeah, I started in vanilla with a druid that I still currently have on Moonguard. Did not start on Moonguard, started on Calicos. Um, which was funny because doing the death run on the Night Elf Druid from um, thingy place to other thingy place through Menethil, uh to get to Menethil, um being a PvP server, <laughs> ah. <laughs> the person I was playing with and I were, were doing the death run, and uh, a Tauren uh, druid, max level, uh, geared out to the, you know, to the tits, um, ran by us, stopped, came back, killed him, bowed to me, and then left. Druids, man, they stick together. Right? He was a druid, too. Yep. But, yeah. So, that that's my really funny story from then. Yeah. I think I might have taken a wrong turn here, but... I don't know. Eh. It's huh. a place to go. Yeah, okay. So There's gonna, things. I'm going to skedaddle over here. and Hey! hey. It's, it's Bag Thera. That's a horrible name. It really is. Yeah. They really, I mean, they tried to go with the Jungle Book thing, but they did a bad yeah, job. Yeah, it, it didn't work too well. Yeah, it started off on a Twisting Nether, actually, which is a RP PvP server, but I didn't see a whole lot of RP there. So plenty yeah. of PvP, and uh, I've got a deep-seated hatred for gnome rogues in the crossroads now. <laughs> uh, I have a deep-seated hatred for Strangle Thorn Vale. Uh, uh. Just saying. Oh, okay. So much hate. Oh, so oh. much hate. Leveling through here was a bitch. Well, leveling, like, the cross... Oh, God, I don't... Am I going the right... Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. We'll yeah. figure it out. We're, we're bound to hit something sooner or later. Like that tree? <laughs> we went through the tree. Hey. So. Uh, <laughs> I'd actually have to stop and consult a map here in a minute. Turn right. Yep, okay, there we go. Road! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, it'd be like happen? I'd be, you know, running around on my uh, orc warrior, blood elf hunter guy, you know, depending on what I was playing at the time. 
Mm -hmm. I don't left or right here. I don't remember. Right, unless you want to get into some PvP. No, not really, because I'm a. <laughs> I, I'm not even wearing like any actual armor, <laughs> <laughs> which is you know Zort you style. Might die a little quick. You, you might die a little quick. Oh, uh, you know, well, that's that's part of the adventure. I mean, yeah. look, 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 look what happened with Grunk. <laughs> <laughs> It's part of the fun. <laughs> you know, Grunk uh, aggroed everything and its mother twice over. <laughs> but yeah, the grind got to be a bit too much for me. So I stopped, went back to City of Heroes. And then BC came out. And that's when Illy was made. She uh -huh. started out as a priest. On Steam Weedle Cartel. Um, I found a really fun guild... Um, led by a guy and his wife. Um, she became my best friend, and we did everything together. She dragged me through. She introduced me to the concept of uh, power leveling, because she was like, you're leveling too slow. Here, come, let's do this thing. Okay. <laughs> and she was a hunter, so she had uh, Reign of Arrows. Um, and it was very fun. Ah. I've done most of my leveling solo. Mm-hmm. Same here. I never um, did the power leveling either. I actually like the... Oh, dear. I think... Uh, did, you, did you really want to go through Dark Shadow? No, I don't I think mean... I did. Shit. Turn around. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> light pole. Light pole. Flee. Flee. <laughs> oh, great. Now we're flat. Oh, God. Everybody's after us now. <laughs> Just you. I'm fine. Nobody's hit me yet. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck Cross out of here. country motherfuckers! If that's what I gotta do, that... Damn it! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Wow, twisting another flashback. Oh, shit! <laughs> There's someone trying to kill me! <laughs> so, I'm gonna run and probably aggro everything else. Excellent. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Alright, you know what, Scar? We're just gonna go this way and hopefully hit the river. Yay! But, yeah, I found RP, um... In, um in uh, BC with Illy as opposed to my druid who had been my main and who I'd raided with and stuff um, through vanilla. And it was amazing and I loved it and then horrible things happened and then Wrath came out and I turned her into a death knight because I was like, fuck you. Hmm. <laughs> Talk about a girl who has just had the worst luck with people. Hey, you know what I can do? What? Ah, ha-ha! Nice, right? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Murlocs. Goodbye, Murlocs. Pat Frost, love. Uh, so I think we need to... I'm not really sure where we're... Where headed here. <laughs> Anywhere? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, this probably and... won't end well, just saying. <laughs> oh, pff, who cares? Check the map, uh... There's really no way through here, so I guess we gotta go to Red Ridge. Alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and bear. A level 8 bear has aggroed on me. How the hell does that happen? I'm like... Damn it, now I'm flagged. Oh, well. You did this to me. Yeah, but, you know... Not like I care. Because <laughs> I can use Ray's ally on myself now. Mm. Teehee. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So, uh, what about the RPs do you, do you loves? Oh, everything. I, it's, it is one of my favorite methods of communication because I can think about what I want to say before I have to say it. And when I talk, well, bleh, um, just random shit comes out of my face hole and that never ends well. Um, so I can think about what I want to say. I can set up a scene. I can use the, the language to make something beautiful or terrifying or sweet or, you know, whatever. And it's, it's an amazing, um, it's an amazing way to tell a story. And the fact that other people then get to be a part of that story just makes it grow beyond your wildest imagination. Like there's things, there are 
most of the things that have happened to this character, to Illy, have been through RP, you know, with other people, sometimes random people that I didn't know, and have led to some of the most amazing stories. Um, and I could never do that, you know, by myself. It took other people's involvement to make that character grow and evolve and change and to turn into what she is today. And I think that's amazing. I think that the fact that there's this huge community of our peers, not just on this server, not just on Moonguard, but on other servers as well, and other games, in, you know, forums, in, you know, chat rooms and all of this stuff... I think it's an amazing thing. I think it's it's just this hugely creative thing that we've all got access to. And the fact that people use it and um, to, to weave these stories is just, I don't know, it, it, it really does amaze me. I love it. And I talk a lot. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, uh, as, as, you know, broadcasters, you know, that's kind of what we do <laughs> sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of freaking Grelkins or whatever the fuck they are. Mm -hmm. little, little fiery demon guys. They're what makes sure you can't get into this zone through this direction if you're low level. Mm. It's you will die. Now, this was not a zone I enjoyed uh, leveling in. Uh, I enjoyed it after the changes, but not really beforehand. Beforehand, I tended to um, avoid it. Yeah, no, I just found it was, like, drawn out, boring. Boring. Like, uh, no, yeah. No, this, this was during Kata, so mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine what it was like beforehand, because I didn't... Oh, really... it was, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty, pretty awful. And not that it was bad, per se, just that it was really nothing, which is unfortunately quite a few zones that I could name. Yeah, yeah. Like Desolus. <laughs> yeah. It's like one Desolus of the worst. Has the you know has the potential, you know, to to be something, but it's not Silithus as well. Yep. You know, Scenarian Hold is there, and there's all the um, the Karaji, mm. and they could have done something awesome with it. Yep. Instead of, you know, break all the servers for the uh, opening <laughs> event. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that back in the day. Oh, that was not fun. <sighs> well, you know, that was, that was vanilla, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so... That, uh, that had to be a, uh, oh. huh. a lot of Blackrock guys. Hi, guys. Huh. <laughs> I was right in the middle of them. That probably would not have ended well. Now, the, the, before the opening of the, of the gate itself, before the opening of the, the Scarab gate itself, before that event, it was actually kind of fun because there was some PvP and there was, you know, working to get all the resources that, you, that your faction needed and everything else. It was a race to see who could, you know, get the most right. to win, basically. Um, and it was actually kind of fun and kind of engaging, and that's where they got really started with the, um, um, the pre-stuff events. Pre-events, yeah. Um, which I've liked most of them. I still am pissed off, though, that I don't have my stuff anymore from the pre-Wrath event. Uh, I, did, I did all of that. But my stuff is not in existence. Like, uh, the only, believe it or not, the only time I've actually been around for pre-expansion stuff was right before Warlords. I'd taken breaks in between everything else. <laughs> So like yeah. the the uh, iron front there and the blasted lands and stuff that was like <laughs> kind of new and I was like oh well that's pretty cool da 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 and I was sitting there thinking you know well you still got like you know did they phase it so that you know if you're doing the quests to go to Outland 
you know, in that mm-hmm. area, does that, is that still mm-hmm. a thing? And I, like, took a ride down there, and I was like, oh, cool, it is. So I'm not going to die horribly again. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. I don't seem to know where the hell I'm be. going. Where are you trying to get to, honey? Um, someplace that's not here. <laughs> that's over here. I mean, look at my map here. That would probably help. Go yeah. down the road yeah. and turn right. That's what I thought. I didn't. I didn't turn right to Albuquerque. You didn't, and you should have learned that lesson from Bugs Bunny. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Everyone should learn that lesson from Bugs Bunny. Always make turn that right, right at Albuquerque. At Albuquerque. <laughs> so. Otherwise, you're just going to fuck yourself up. Yep. yep. <sighs> so, aside from the wows, what, what do you like to oh, do? Oh, no, that's right. You've got to go through... Black Rock and go out the other side. And... Ah, son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, other than WoW, I do the art thing. Um, not very well, but I'm working on it. Is it Practicing. Than, is it better than a stick figure? It is better than a stick figure. Then you're doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> And it's better than it was a year ago and ten years ago, which is when I really sucked. It was awful. It was worse than a stick figure. How can it be worse than a stick figure? A stick figure is like the lowest common denominator of art attempts. At least a stick figure is easy to do. A circle and lots of sticks, right? And then even if you don't put the sticks where a person's sticks would be, you'll have something. A spider or, you know, whatever. You can say it's something. But when you try to do an art and you fail, what that failure means is it does not look like what it's supposed to look like. Okay. That being, you know, a person or a a sunset or a lollipop or, you know, whatever. A happy little tree. Mm Mm-hmm. Happy little tree. (sighs) Just hanging out with its happy little friends. I also um, <clears throat> play Star Wars The Old Republic because, yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I am a Star Wars nerd. I have been for a very long time. Um, yeah, uh, in fact, uh, we are actually in a guild together in Star Wars. Uh-huh. Black Star Incorporated. Best yeah. guild run by... I haven't guild. been on that character in forever lately, but... Uh, <gasps> I... Yeah. It's not that I'm a traitor. I just, I just haven't, I just haven't been on the boy. Traitor, no. you're, you're looking at them republics, aren't you? Aren't no. you? no, I know you are. I, I do have some republic characters. I do just for fun, but my yes. my bounty hunter is still is still the man. <laughs> it's because bounty hunters are fun. Everybody eats a missile. That's all I'm saying. Mhm. You can many many missiles. You just can construe that up. however you want, kids. <laughs> you get a missile, bitches. Um, uh, so you get the Star Wars, you got the arts thing, you do the you do the internet radios. Mhm. Over on the namesake. And it is it is actually a licensed station as uh, opposed to a lot of other stations that you'll find on the internet. We actually are an actual licensed real radio station, which is awesome. That's pretty cool. And there are some really awesome things coming up for us, which I can't talk about, and I wish I could, but it's under an NDA for right now. Ah, nah. <sighs> I'm sure when the time is right, we will all find these wonderful things out and enjoy them immensely. Um, I'm working with the people, uh, with a lot of other people as well, um, with the people with Valiance Online. It's a new game. Uh, it's been greenlit on Steam. And it is uh, basically trying to, one of the games trying to take the place of City of Heroes since they took our game away from us. Those Uh, bastards. um, Um, And the people making Valiance Online are awesome. And our station is closely connected with them and we adore them. They're they're amazing. The amount of, they've been in basically pre-alpha for a year or so. With almost no funding, with um, 
all their staff members volunteering their time. Um, the city they built is beautiful. It's ridiculous, except like no memory. Um, the quests are, 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 you know, getting to the fun stage and they're, they're pretty interesting. They haven't implemented them all yet. Obviously it's a pre alpha. It's a come help us break the game. Uh. <laughs> and it's, it's open for, for, you know, everyone. Well, not right now because they're migrating to a different server host, but um, when it comes back up, I'll let you know. And if you want, you can check it out. I, I might, because um, I, d I dabbled in the uh, City of Heroes. I, uh, yeah, it was... They made uh, a character, and right off the uh, bat, you know, you get the... That one quest where that one hero is, like, hurt, and he needs your help, and you can either help him or kill him. <laughs> and I killed yep. him. Yep, going So around. I immediately became a bad guy. And I was like, oh. <laughs> no, hey, yeah. you know, it was a mercy killing. There, there was no way to help him. No, no way to talk. You're just like insta super villain. I was like, I like this. Yeah, City of Heroes is where I started playing MMOs. It's where I started RPing uh, in MMOs. I had done forums and chat rooms and BBSs before the real internet started. Because um, I'm old. Um, yeah, we don't want any of that uh, fake internet. Right. Exactly. That, that, internet light. Yeah. That, internet uh, clear. <laughs> Some nasty fake internet. Yeah. Crystal internet. <laughs> yeah. Just tastes like aspartame and ass. <laughs> but yeah, City Heroes is, is where I really started RPing in MMOs and grew this huge love for it that I have currently. And it's where I learned how to be a healer. Because at City of Heroes, <laughs> the main healer was an empath. The empath had an AOE heal and a single target heal. That's it. Teams were made up of eight people. Oh, dear. <laughs> this, this sounds like it was rather complex. It was insane. But it was also really fun because you had to oh, time dear. your stuff um... right. You had to... Do I have any? Oh, God. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. We're going to die. Woo! Oh! <laughs> I made it half an inch further than you. Yes! <laughs> I win. I win. <laughs> okay. Let's see where we end up here. <laughs> I got down half an inch further down the cliff. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are we even going to be able to get back to our bodies? I don't know. <laughs> well, we can, because we just have to go through the tunnel, but... Let's see if we'll be close enough to get it over this way. You see, I, that drop, I was like, yeah, that's probably going to kill me, but she'll be okay. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. No. no. But then a... again, I, see, I don't care, because I'm the kind of person that... I'll make a character on some random server with a friend of mine and we'll go oh i don't know dance in the lava in uh iron forge or jump off you know the tree in darnassus uh, you know i've never <laughs> done that i've never jumped off the tree in darnassus i was actually in darnassus uh last night okay to so the cave we go or tunnel uh, whatever uh, you know that tunnel, thing. cave hang on i think i might have a Making progress here. Coming up the cliff. <laughs> You're not going to nope, be able to. Nope. Nope. See? See? I, I tried. <laughs> okay? I tried. <laughs> I am the mistress of wall jumping. I used to be able to... I used to do the getting into Iron Forge thing. Um, jumping up the mountains. That was fun. Hmm. Probably shouldn't admit that. You can't do it anymore. Uh, off. Just like they closed off the hole in, into Karazhan where there was the smiley face underneath. They put stuff like that in there and then they're like, nope, you can't go see it. It's like, well, then why'd you put it in right? there, motherfucker? Exactly. And now I can't say, I can't take people through, I can't, you know, run people through Kara and say, come jump in my hole. Really? <laughs>
All right. <laughs> Are we even going to be able to get to our bodies? Probably not. I have a feeling yes, that this is all just maybe. A I don't know. Uh, it wasn't over here. It's the next one. Oh. Gotta go further up. More tunnels. But yeah, City of Heroes is where I learned how to RP in an MMO, how I learned what emotes were, and um, where I learned uh, how to raid and how to heal, and how the fuck did we get up there in the first place? Um, Shit. There was um, dudes with hammers that were like trying to kill us. Uh, you know, I don't think we're in the right place. No, I don't think we're... Uh, you know what? No. Going to get to my body. <laughs> You're determined. Just... You're like, screw it. Just one more tunnel. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm trusting This one you. will be entitled Running Through Tunnels Dead with Swords. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is it. This is the one. Here we go. All right. I'm waiting so. for you. All right. Mm, ice water. Okay, so... And dipping. Whee! Plop. Oh, Lord. Plop. Oh, hey, I see you. I see I see your body. I'm alive. All right, let's eat some food. I'm healing up, mother. <laughs> I know, I know how this goes. <laughs> I have jumped uh, my friend Gala off of enough cliffs to know where this is leading. Use one of those healing potions I never use. <laughs> All right, now we're good. Got like forty-three in my bags. I never use them. Okay, let me. Let me at least take a look here and see if I can devise some kind of a stratagem. Uh, Just go straight nope. down the crotch there. <laughs> no <Yeah>. stratagem. <laughs> Boop. Oh! Damn it, you won this time. <laughs> okay, this time we will be able to run back and was, not have to go through the tunnel. I was about to say, we should pop up at a different graveyard this time, shouldn't we? Nope. No? Okay. Because we only went a little further down the hill. Boinky, 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 boinky. Well, congratulations. You are the second person to die on this little bit. Yes. Of course, Grunk died like four times. <laughs> only a two. Well, you know, you expect to die jumping down cliffs. It's just, just part of the fun. I really like this spear. I'm just going to use my health stone. <laughs> there you go. Forgot I can make those. That's how much I don't actually, like, play on Zords. <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing as you're level 65, I kind of... You know. Hey, he was level 62 for two years. Good lord, man. <laughs> True fact. I never, I never... It's Outlands. Nobody wants to do Outlands. <laughs> True. You know how I do Outlands? I get a friend of mine to run me through the dungeons in very specific order. Mm. <laughs> and then Outlands is done. Because so. <sighs> I uh, do the same for them. So. During, during your uh, RP career, have you ever had something that just like you can still look back on and laugh at? Oh, goodness, yes. <laughs> um, I think the most recent was about three years ago. I have really not done a lot of RPing since I, I've left and come back a couple of times because of people and horrible things that they've done. But um, So I haven't RPed much since then, except with a very few people. Um, 
So we were, I was running a guild alliance side, same character, Soulstone, Warlock, shoved into a new body, blah, blah, blah. That RP itself took three months. We are working on it. <laughs> um, finding, you know, lore ways around it and stuff like that. So it was actually really fun. Um, and so Illy in a human body, which was funny. That had to have been uh, um, interesting role-playing that. <laughs> yeah. What are you? Oh, I'm a blood... Uh, just a human death knight. No thing to see here. Mm -hmm. um, so I started a guild. Um, and we were Argents. Um, worked with the Argent Crusade. And we had a very large guild by the time I said, fuck this specific person who's been almost driving me to suicide. Mm. That's how bad it got. Um, and left. And left the game and left Skype and Tumblr and everything. Um, so anyway, we are... We were... In the part of the wetlands where it's near the Twilight Islands, right, where right. all the dragons are, and there's all the Twilight corruption, um, this was just pre-cataclysm. Uh, and <laughs> during this event, I learned just how much damage Illy can take as a character with my roles and stuff, because the way we ran events was like a D&D &D game. The narrator, uh, the GM tells you what's going on. Everyone rolls for initiative, doubles re-roll, and then you post in that order, reacting to what the narrator has said and what, you know, has people have done before you. So <laughs> when I roll for Illy, what happens is either she succeeds wildly beating expectations and just destroying a thing. Or she gets almost murdered. Every time. It's either wild success or horrible, crushing, painful failure. Well, this event was almost entirely horrible, crushing, painful failure. She ended up with... Uh, by the end, both of her legs were broken. Uh, her left shoulder was broken. Her right arm was broken in four places. Um, she had gained new scars on her face. Uh, one of her eyes was burst. Um, and, um, the lower half of her body was burned. Ugh. By light. Because she was in the way of one of the other people in the guild. A priest. And so she got, you know, being a death knight, they don't react well to that. So she got lighted on. And that was not fun. Um, in the end, though, she got to be the hero and murder the awful, horrible, be-tentacled uh, monstrosity from beyond space and time. She got the killing blow. So that was that was worth all of the painful, horrible, awful shit that happened to her. <laughs> and it's funny because a lot of people that I've met, not the people that I stay in contact with or RP with at all, because no. But a lot of people I've met cannot stand for their character to get hurt. And it's like, life is messy. Mm-hmm. Life is not all, you know, fudge sickles and, and rainbows and, you know, cocks that spew gold. You know, that that's not how life works. Life is messy. Life is painful. Life is awful. And then there are some fun times that make all the painful, awful stuff worth it. <coughs> right? Yeah. I mean, so, I, 
I'm a big proponent of if you're gonna do any kind of combat role play, you got to give and take. Yeah, you yeah you can hit yeah. somebody, but you damn well better be willing to take a hit back. Exactly, exactly, and that's why I use the role system because it's right there. Everyone can see it. There's no fudging roles, you know. And I've learned. I used to just trust people, and they, you know, like they'd say they got you know this role or whatever, and they'd go to random.org and stuff. And I'd actually use my role because you know that's what I learned in D and D. You roll, something happens, mm-hmm. <laughs> whether it's good or bad. Yeah, but you know, you you take what the dice give you, and that's okay. It leads to character development. Otherwise, you stagnate and die. This is true. But then, you know, people proved that they were lying, betraying, um, horrible, awful bastards. And where, when did you eject yourself from the bike? I'm still on the bike. It's showing. Oh wow, that's, my game is either really messed up because on my screen <laughs> you're not here, and it's showing on the mini map that you're like. <laughs> Back past the sludge field somewhere. No, nope, no, nope, I'm right with you, staring at that fence, piece of fence, and a lamp. Huh. Spiders and bears. And... That's odd. <laughs> yeah, I think you're lagging a little. I'm here with you. I promise. Yeah. Okay, now you're here. I don't know. <laughs> Suddenly <sighs> there. Bam. I was invisible. But yeah, I. I, I've never seen the point of trying to god mode. I've never t- seen the point of not taking your your hits when you get them. I've never seen the point of that. It makes things less fun. It makes things predictable. That flavor of uncertainty is why I love using dice rolls when I RP. If I if I get into combat, because then it's not me saying I win or them saying they win. It's the dice saying, ha ha, fuck all, fuck all of you. Yep. You know? Yep. It's that, that, that chance of uncertainty dice that I love like so much. Sometimes. <laughs> dice mostly don't like me. If there's, if there's a chance that my character in any game where there are dice is going to get hurt, they, it, they will. <laughs> And it will be awful. Yep. They until will. until the very end when they rally and like roll two twenties or something. Yeah. Because this is <laughs> one thing I didn't really dig about Guild Wars Two is that there wasn't like a roll system for it. Yeah. So if you had to do anything, it was all you know. You either had to find a uh, external site to do it while you're. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, freeform. And a lot of times we do freeform. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, just... I don't know. It wasn't like a conscious decision on my part, but it just seemed like my character always ended up in situations where horrible things happened to him and he had to be carried out of the fight in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's that's you know... And a lot of times those horrible things were usually masterminded by our mutual friend, Arker. He is an awful person, and I love him to death. He's an, he's a, he's an absolute <laughs> prick. He is. I love him to death. He's awesome. <laughs> All right. And we have pretty much driven, like, the entire continent here. Hell yeah. And that's with dying twice. All right. So, uh, I guess we'll pull up in here. Uh, and in closing, anything you, you want to say? Any little shout-outs you want to give to people? Um... Hello to my family, my internet family. You know who you are. You know I love you. Mwah. Pay, um, tune in to Namesake Radio, namesakeradio.com, every Friday night from 8 p.m. to midnight central time to listen to me ramble occasionally and play some pretty nifty music. Yeah, you know, I remember the first time I tuned in after uh, <laughs> we started talking to each other and... You played uh, When I Grow Up by Garbage, and I had forgotten yes. that song existed. <laughs> and I could not get it out of my head for, like, the next freaking month. I win. You did. Yeah, my, my, my playlists do tend to be rather random um, because that's how I am. I have a wide 
variety of taste in music. The only things I really don't like are rap and most country. Mm. Although I do have, like some country, and some of it gets put in my playlists. Mm-hmm. Every now and then you find, you, you find one. You find mm-hmm. one. But, uh, all right. Well, thanks for, thanks for coming along for the ride. It was fun, including the deaths. Yeah, the, well, the deaths, I think, are may, make it fun. So, on that note, folks, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time I can coerce somebody into getting into a vehicle with me. Puppies, lollipops, something, whatever. <laughs> right. Bye. Bye.